G'day guys, welcome back to the Devon Tugan Investing Channel. And for all you Tattooed Chef shareholders, we have some big news today. On the 30th of November, we have appointed a new Chief Operating Officer. So, finally, finally, we are getting some help to Stephanie so she can focus more on her job of being the uh, CFO, the Chief Financial Officer, and now we've got someone who can solely focus on operations. So the guy who's going to be taking over Stephanie's role as Chief Operating Officer is Gaspari Gaspar Garasi. So I probably messed that name up pretty bad. So for now on, I'm just going to call him Gaspar. Uh, so Gaspar is our new Chief Operating Officer. Uh, He's been in that position since the 29th of November and yeah, the company have made it very clear that Stephanie will remain with the company, but now she'll be able to focus more on her role as Chief Financial Officer. So Gaspar, according to Sam Galetti, has been a seasoned leader with deep understanding of the Tattooed Chef business and the inherent complexities of scaling and operating a high growth business. So Gaspar himself, he has been a C, he, he's been the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer of the company Cook Frog uh, Environmental and Stormwater Systems, and he was doing this for over 10 years, uh, to be more exact, 13 years. And he's also been the founder of a company before called Surdy Fresh Food. And this particular company is actually a seafood food company. And while at this company... Not only was he the founder, but he's also been the CFO and the chief operations officer as well. So it's good to see, uh, you know, the Tattooed Chef team bring on a new member, uh, Gaspar. He does have 30 years of experience in operations, uh, man manufacturing and supply chain management. So I do think he would be a good addition to the team. Uh, Pretty much because the company is so fast growing, there's so many moving parts. Like there was just no way Stephanie could have done, you know, the COO position and the CFO position at the same time, and that was quite evident when we saw them sort of, uh, you know, have to delay earnings to make sure everything was correct. And look, you know, I'd much rather Stephanie just focus on the one job because it was just kind of ridiculous focusing on both jobs. So. Uh, it looks like Gaspar should fit into the company well. And literally all he has to do is, you know, keep the momentum that was already there. He doesn't necessarily have to do anything groundbreaking or nothing like that. No, the company's already vertically integrated. So as long as they keep sort of moving down that path, which I'm sure, you know, that will happen as he will be uh, guided by others such as, you know, the CEO the CEO, Sam Gleddy. And as I've said many times on my channel, especially with these smaller companies, these high growth small companies, uh, sort of, you know, they're looking to capture market share. Uh, they're growing revenues really quickly. However, a lot of them are unprofitable. And in these unprofitable businesses or these, you know, near break even businesses, which Tattooed Chef pretty much is, you know, your management team is so important in getting that, you know, business rolling uh, you know, a good management team in these like fast type of hyper growth businesses, you know, it'll make or break a business. And yeah, so obviously this is a really important, uh, you know, talent acquisition for Tattooed Chef. And look, so far, you know, the management team in general has been killing it. Uh, you know, some people give them a hard time about you know, mid delaying the earnings and whatnot. But really, if you focus on the core business, they're getting into new stores, they're getting products out there really quickly, faster than their competition. The sell-through rate for their brand is pretty much the highest in its category. They're moving into different categories such as, you know, ambient products. Uh, they're moving into snacks. They're moving into, like, bars. They're making acquisitions that make a lot of sense where they're buying sort of companies or not even company they're buying like factories of private label producers and then slapping the brand on top so they're avoiding acquisition costs of brands so overall this is really great 
uh, Tattoo Chef. I like the way, you know, the business is growing. I like the way they're operating. They're moving quickly. They're innovating. So, yeah, uh, I, I think Gasper will be a good addition to the team. And, look, I'll keep you guys updated when new things come come around for Tattoo Chef. But thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go have a look at some of my other videos. And have a good one. See ya.